How's it going everyone? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm reviewing the newest Audi A4. So this is the B9 generation of the car. Um, my car is at the dealership right now getting some diagnostic work done and I feel like some there was some heat related damage. I mean, you know, Arizona got like 120 degrees of heat um, a few days back. Um, but anyway, that's a story for another time. Let's talk about the car. So I got the uh, paperwork from the dealership, you know, basically a sticker, I should say, on what this car has and um, how much it costs and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this is basically, this is a base model with some additional packages on it. Um, so this, to start off, this has a two liter i4 um, turbocharged engine, which apparently cranks out around 252 horsepower. So it's not too bad. I don't think it's changed a whole lot since the last generation, the B8.5. Um, what else does it have? It has the comfort and convenience. Oh, that's not really a package, but it's got it's got really nice LED lights outside and everything, and it's got uh, adaptive lights, which I found out last night, which was really cool, by the way. Like when you're turning, it's, it turns on these set of three lights that just um, illuminates the side and gives you better um, you know visibility on the side as you're turning but anyway this is a um, has the premium plus package and the premium plus package let's see it gets you the um, it's got the Bang & Olufsen sound system uh, it gets you the LED headlights and it also gets you the S-Line exterior so you know it makes it looks like it's an S4 and then it's got the 19 inch wheel package which I'll show you guys later when I when we do a walk around of the car anyway so that aside so this car ha it's a front wheel drive car it's not a quattro and so base price on this is 37300 and the sticker basically the dealer markup um is basically 47 530 so that's what like ten thousand two hundred dollar markup so that's expected of dealerships it's not a big deal but first and foremost i would like to show you guys the interior of the car i personally love the interior i know this car this generation's interior has had mixed reviews so let's quickly take a look at the interior the front and dash and all the stuff that you know you can it's got a lot of buttons I'll tell you that so firstly let's take a look at the dash uh, the um, gauges the gauge the entire gauge that's a, a TFT or a LED screen not a TFT screen uh, anyway so you know like you can press these buttons and like you know add additional displays and stuff it's pretty neat I, I personally like that I'm like a, a geek when it comes to like technology and stuff so here we got like you know uh the standard th this isn't the flat bottom steering wheel unfortunately um as you can kind of tell yep it's not a flat bottom steering wheel so not a big deal and here you got like you know uh you got the screen over here which is i believe it's a eight inch diagonal screen it's not touch screen obviously as it, that's that's the case with pretty much all the German cars right now and everything is controlled via this function this center right here uh, with the this is like a little touch pad this is mostly used during the navigation and whatnot so that's pretty much the interior not a whole lot going on I mean like I said it's got leather seats which is really cool um, I personally don't like leather seats, uh, especially in Arizona. It's got the Bang & Olufsen sound system. I tested it out. I was playing Pandora the other day and it was awesome. It's got the same amount of bass and all that kind of stuff as my S4, which has the same system. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it uh, on the inside. Let's go outside. So looking at the outside of the car, you can tell, you know, this is the brand new redesigned uh, front fascia. And you can look at the LED lights and everything. It looks pretty neat in my opinion. Uh, I personally really like the front of this car. It's got a little bit more, more of an aggressive front, but you know, this is the A4, so it's not gonna look all that aggressive like an S4. Uh, and here's the 19 inch wheels that the package includes. Yeah, it's okay. I'll probably not buy the wheel package and just buy my own set of wheels and you know, 
be done with that. So like many of you guys know by now, it, you know, Arizona has this massive heat wave going across it. And so I had to get out of there. Just actually, yeah, I had to get from the outside to the inside. Oh, the AC is nice in this car. Whew. Anyway, so uh, this car also has ADS. I failed to mention that early on. So it's got adaptive drive uh, or um, Audi drive select, I should say, not adaptive. Uh, so right now it's in comfort mode and it's excellent in comfort mode. It's uh, It's got uh, auto, um, what is that? Autos on and off, like basically where uh, it turns off the car at a um, traffic light. So it has that function, which you can turn off and whatnot. So here's the um, Audi driver select. And basically right now, as you can see, it's in comfort mode but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on dynamic and it's in the S mode right now. So basically this car is set to, for max performance if you will. And so let's go ahead and do some max performance and see how this car moves. All right, seat belts are on. All right, let us drive in this mode. So again, we're on our favorite road. It is nice and open. I love this road so much. You know, there's like, you can, it's got a little bit of car. I wish it was a lot more straighter and whatnot, but it is what it is, you know? All right, so right now, I'm gonna, I don't, I'm pretty sure this car doesn't have a launch control and whatnot. This has a, a regular seven-speed transmission, so I'm not gonna bother trying to do like any launch control stuff. But let's just go. Let's see. So this car can actually move. So I'm actually I don't know what Audi did, but they. Definitely, definitely um, made this car a lot better in terms of performance. So this car can actually move quite a bit. Like, I'm impressed. I'm definitely more impressed than the last uh, generations. That was actually my mom walking on the side. <laughs> so that was pretty much it. So that was it's that was the car in its max performance mode and whatnot. And um, Again, I'm fairly impressed by it. It did a good job compared to the last generation's uh, Audi A4 S line that I drove. Um, this one ha it seems a little bit more responsive. Um, but other than that, um, one other thing is this car's interior at night is like amazing. Like this has like uh, little accent lightings. It's basically when it's really dark inside the car's cabin, it looks like you're in a Tron film set. These accent lights everywhere especially around the cup holders and uh, uh, the cigarette butt lighter right there or cigarette lighter and around this thing and the speaker and then this little S logo right there on the door that adds like almost like this Tron like visuals which I personally love it like I mean this thing looks really cool like I mean even the stuff on the uh, let's see if I can focus there yeah the uh, uh, these stocks right here for the cruise control light up and everything I just think that's a really cool touch that Audi added into these cars so anyways guys I'll go ahead and end the video right now hopefully you guys enjoyed it and found it somewhat informational and you know if it you know helps your uh, decision in buying this car in any way that's awesome so um, uh, if you again if you enjoyed the content please uh, leave a like uh, have any questions leave a comment and subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys later Thank you. See you next time.